Hey guys, Ravi here and in this video I am going to show you how to program the ESP8266 module. In essence, this is an Arduino board with inbuilt Wi-Fi. But unlike the Arduino, it is not as easy to program. I'll be using the O1 model here but the steps are the same for every ESP module out there. You need to set up three things to program the module. The software, the hardware and the connection between the two. So let's get to it. The software part is pretty easy. Download, install and launch the Arduino IDE link to which will be in the description. Go to Files, Preferences and in the Additional Boards Manager paste the URL given in the description below. Click OK. Making sure that you are connected to the internet, go to Tools, Boards and Boards Manager. Scroll to the bottom where you will see ESP8266 is listed. Click Install and restart the IDE once the installation is done. Now let's set up the hardware. Since the ESP isn't really breadboard friendly, you can either make or buy an adapter or you can simply use some jumper cables. Now keeping note of which wire corresponds to which pin, connect CHPD pin to VCC pin. You can connect them with a jumper cable but I prefer using a 100 ohm resistor. Connect the GPIO0 to ground. This is the connection that puts the ESP into programming mode. Now let's connect the ESP to your PC. I'll be using an Arduino for this. Instead of the Arduino, you can also use one of these USB TTL serial adapters but they can be a little funky power wise. On the Arduino, connect reset pin to the ground and connect the RX to RX of the ESP and TX to TX of the ESP. Now connect the 3.3V pin of the Arduino to the VCC of the ESP module and ground to ground. On the PC side in the IDE, go to Tools, Board and select the generic ESP8266 module. Take a note of the ports available and plug the Arduino via USB. Select the new port that appears and you are ready to program. As a test, go to Files, Examples, ESP8266 and select Blink. Upload the sketch by clicking the arrow and when it's done, the LED on the ESP chip should be blinking. Now you can unplug the Arduino, disconnect the GPS 0 from ground and now when you power it up, it will run the blink sketch. And there you go, you have successfully programmed the ESP. A few things to keep note before this video ends. Number 1, the ESP module requires 3.3 volts on the VCC to work. 5 volts will kill it. Number 2, soldering a 3.3 microfarad capacitor between the VCC and ground of the ESP can help with any power issues you might be experiencing. Number 3, for programming the ESP, the GPIO 0 pin must be connected to ground during power up. Number 4. To run the sketch on the chip, the GPIO 0 pin must be free during startup. And that's it for this video guys. You have successfully programmed the ESP. If you have any questions, make sure to read the description for the FAQ. Link to everything showcased in this video will be available in the description below. Thanks for watching guys, feel free to ask any questions in the comments below, drop a like if this video was helpful and subscribe if you want to see some ESP projects in the future.